this tutorial we will see how to create tables to create tables we need to use the environment called a uh, tabular environment let's uh, create that begin tabular environment and here we will specify the alignment of table using the number of columns we want to specify if you want uh, uh, three columns of uh, table then you need to specify that with uh, using L or C or R L for left alignment C for center alignment R for right alignment let's say we need first two columns center aligned and the last table is uh, I mean last column is right aligned let's say that is C C R it says uh, that we are having three columns and the first one is and second one is center aligned both and the last uh, column is right aligned and to need to use this tabular environment we need to include the package AMS math now let's go to the content of the table let's say in the first row we are having X Y and Z these are used to align the cells ampersands are used to align the cell then in the next line I mean in the next row A B and C F. let's run this can see we got a table but we are not having any lines let's see now how to create a uh, lines the same thing let's see now if you want to uh, create a vertical lines you need to specify a uh, vertical bar here line here uh, now see how it will be let's run this you will notice that uh, see this is how we will get the vertical rows similarly to get the horizontal lines we use the command called H line horizontal line H line and the next after this column and completely at the bottom of the table let's run this you can see we got it let's separate with a vertical space This is how uh, we can get vertical lines using this bars here, vertical bars here. And now uh, with the uh, H line command, we can get the horizontal lines of a table. Similarly, if uh, you want any in double column here, I mean double line to separate, there you can simply use a pair of uh, vertical lines, which gives you double line there. Just see see we got a double line here and there was an another point to notice if you don't having any uh, thing in this cell you need to uh, leave this as empty then only the table will be looks good whether uh, you say that there is no anything and if you do like this without uh, aligning with using ampersand then what will happen is will get the cell but the, this uh, line will not be complete so to make that uh, we need to uh, define ampersand so that the empty cell can be uh, 
compiled and next let's see how to uh, draw the two vertical uh, I mean if you want two lines in a for a row similarly like how you did for uh, here you can just use the command called hh line you need to include the package called uh, hh line for that use package hh line let's try to run this now if it not we will see yeah we got a uh, hh line you can see where but uh, this was running you can see there is no error now we have to define for every column here that's the uh, issue with this call uh, this command if you see here like how you define the with the alignment for every column you should similarly do the same thing with the uh, sorry with this uh, hh line command also let's see i will do you can understand that use a line then say equals to which refers the double line in the first column and next again double line again double line again uh, close this so you can understand now let's run this you can see we got it that's how you can get this and if you don't want in any particular uh, column double row there you can just simply use a uh, this tilde symbol which give, which leaves that uh, particular line empty if you see here this will this part will be losing now let's see that yeah i think you can see that what was the change if you want uh, with the three just make it again equal is equals to there it will be completely it will come completely now we will see about uh, how to uh, size this like with uh, set setting the uh, column separations and all mm, let's see about uh, that one to set the column separations we need to include the package called uh, i mean we should define the, the length set length table column separation let it be two centimeters you can see it was two centimeters in our, in every table we have used so by this uh, the columns are very big let's say let's decrease it it's looking so odd let us make it uh, in less size let's say 15 points something yeah it was better now like that you can uh, set the column separation length and also you can define a size of a particular uh, column here by using instead of using uh, this C you can use instead of uh, C L R you can use P W and uh, C P you can specify the width here for a column and similarly as M and uh, P where P is used for top alignment and B M for center and P is for sorry this is B B is for bottom let's try with uh, this also now now we have seen how to uh, set the column length uh, using the uh, this command set length command that will uh, sets the size for uh, every uh, column here but whereas if you want to specify size for particular column you have to do with uh, this now what I was uh, going with let's say here just uh, remove this 
let's say first one is center align uh, no change with that let's say in the second uh, column it was center align with the width of let's say 0 0.5 centimeter and same with the last column also now we will see this to use uh, this I think we need to include the package called uh, ERA so let's include that first array package so let's run this yeah you can see we got that let's use vertical separation here to click uh, vertical space of two centimeters yeah you can clearly see now we got in this table this is uh, with the same length which we uh, we defined as we defined globally uh, the column separation is 15 point we got here also in the center alignment 15 uh, i mean 15 points of column length and next we change it in the second and third column with the uh, size of 0 0.5 centimeters now in the second and third one we got uh, now 0 0.5 centimeters and both are center aligned. let's try with this p now run this you can see there was no change you can observe and with this uh, with the huge text we are using simply single letters right and next make this m that's how you can make a uh, use of this separations let's do with give h line also let's run this that's it we got the required table with particular size similarly you can also define the uh, size of a row like how we did here for column and also we did here for column you can do uh, globally and for a particular row also to define size for a row we need to use the command called uh, renew command array stretch let's do that backslash renew command array stretch let's define the size here let's say it was uh, 0 0.5 let's say 2 let's run this you can see it was increased by default there is no this much of uh, row size it was very less uh, let's see again let's make it uh, 4 sorry four you can see we got much more uh, wider I mean height with the rows that's how you can set the size of a row but this this looks odd when it was uh, very big for every column so let's instead of using this 
we can go for the table uh, the particular table let's say this and you can go there if you want that much of I mean uh, larger row with the uh, in second row just go to uh, that row that particular row and define the size of that row after that uh, completion of the content of that row let's say it's uh, it is of uh, 10 points try to run this now you will see the particular row size was increased similarly if you want to increase the size of first row then you can use that 15 point can see it was changed it was changed like that you can change the size of a row that's it for this tutorial thank you in the next tutorial we will see about uh, creating multi-column and multi-rows